In this quick tip video, we'll look at how you can isolate a color in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. Now, color isolation is a bit of a tricky term because usually colors don't begin and end perfectly in a photo. For example, let's say I want to keep the red of this car. There is a tool called a hue range mask that lets me do that. I can right click on the mask here, select hue range mask, and these dots here tell me what color I can center on. So I'll drag it so it centers on the red. And you can see I've selected the red here. But given the way the light is hitting the car and the subtle differences, it's really hard to select the whole thing cleanly. This tool is definitely useful in some scenarios, but in this case for color selection, I think it's easier to manually select the car. So I'll close this hue range mask. I'll delete it. So I'll use the selection brush over here. So I'll click selection brush and I'll start selecting my car. We can always refine it a bit later. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So I think here I have a good enough selection. So I'm going to click the mask layer button. And here's my car selected. I'll press Control D to unselect. Now let me turn off my mask for a second. What I want to do now is make my whole image black and white. There are many ways to do this, but I think the easiest way is to add an HSL adjustment. So I'll select my adjustment options here and I'll click HSL. And to make it black and white, what I'll do is click saturation and drag it all the way to zero. And I'll close this. So this is my black and white image. Now I want to mask out this effect to only have the car being shown in color. So I'll drag the mask to my HSL adjustment. I'll expand it. And then I'll turn on my mask layer again. Now it seems to be doing the complete opposite of what we wanted it to do. This is really easy to fix with my mask layer selected. I'll choose layer invert. And now we have the correct result. Now we can clean up a couple things on our mask. I can see her hand is in black and white there. Let me select the brush. I'll select white. Let me make sure my brush is nice and solid. So I'm painting white on her hand because I want to allow the black and white filter to work. Down here, I have the opposite problem. I can see some of the car didn't get colored in. So using black, I want to stop the black and white filter from working. So I'm painting black on the mask here. And a little bit of the road can be cleaned up here. Now when you create a black and white image like this, it can be a little dull. We can give it a little bit of punch using a curves adjustment. So I'll select the adjustments here. I'll click curves and I'll just give it a classic S curve adjustment. So I'll increase the brights. I'll increase the darks, get it nice and dark there in the shadows. If you're only going to learn one thing with curves, this S shape is the thing to know. It's basically what I do for 99% of curves adjustments. And here we have our final result overall before, after, before, after. So that's how you isolate a color in Affinity Photo. Typically, the easiest way is to actually select the object and then mask around it. If you do want to learn how hue range masks work, be sure to check out my video on that subject. I'll leave a link down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.